Hey, what's going on? Steve here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, the idea of this lesson came around last night uh, when I was chatting with a buddy of mine uh, called Nathan and he was saying he was watching my videos and he was learning uh, music theory but a lot of it was going over his head. So that got me thinking maybe there's a few of you out there that are watching that um, are trying to get into learning music theory. So I thought I'd try to part my uh, understanding of music theory to you uh, via some basic music theory lessons. So let me know how this lesson goes and you know was it good for you and uh, would you like to see more and if you would like to see more uh, what music theory related content would you like to see? Uh, music theory is one of those tricky subjects and I guess a lot of us uh, shy away from it um, because we think it's very complex but I say just knowing a little bit of basic theory um, will help you uh, like with your playing and understanding of what's going on in music and it will start to work its way into your music your own playing without even you noticing it and it can make your um, playing a lot more musical uh, so these are some reasons for why we can uh, start to learn music theory so I wanted to aim these lessons at people are complete beginners or maybe people that have like a little bit of theory knowledge and just want to improve on that. I'd like to say that this is my own theory knowledge um, parting with you so some of it may be incorrect so uh, if you do think it's incorrect then let's have a chat about it in the comments section below. So let's get into this lesson and for this lesson I want to teach you the a simple method for memorizing the order of sharps and how you can apply these to any major key and also the uh, chord spellings for any major key. So we'll look at those three things for this lesson and hopefully as I explain this you'll see why this can be useful for you. So first thing we're going to look at is the order of sharps and after knowing the order of sharps then we can start to use this to apply it to any major key and know what sharps are in any major key. The simple method that I learned when I was at um, college or high school for the uh, American folk out there uh, is basically this. We have Father Charles goes down and ends battle. So one more time. Father Charles goes down and ends battle. If you remember that, then you remember the, 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 spell, uh, the order of sharps. So Father, F, Charles, C, goes, G, down, D, and A ends E battle, a B. So that is the order of sharps. So if you just remember this and then later on when you come to work out what sharps are in a particular major key, you'll be able to consult this uh, this little, little sentence uh, to, to help you get on your way. So let's uh, put that into practice. So if we take the key of C major, uh, the key of C major has uh, no sharps, right? So and also the, what I want to teach you here, if you didn't know already, is the order of notes within a key. So if we have C major, we have um, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And if we apply the basic chord spellings to them, we have a C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, and a B uh, half diminished. So that would sound like this. So I'll just grab my guitar. So with C major, so the first one we have C, C major, then a D minor. And the third is an E minor. The fourth is a F major. Fifth is G minor. Sixth is an A minor. And then seventh is a B half diminished. And then back to a C major there. So we've come back to the uh, tonic of the key there. So this is the same spelling for all major keys. So the first chord is major and then two and the three are minor and uh, four and five are major and sixth is minor and the seventh is a half diminished one. So now let's take our uh, Father Charles goes down and ends battle, uh, our order of sharps and we can start to work out what sharps are in any major key. So first we had C major there which has no sharps uh, so the next one will be, let's say, let's take the next note in order. So let's say a D major, right? So, so let's write down the order of notes first. So D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then back to the D again. So how do we know what sharps are in D major? So this is where we consult the uh, order of sharps um, little phrase that I taught you. So if we go, Father Charles goes down. So we've, we've come to D, right? And what I want you to do is before, the note before D uh, take that one away and anything left before behind that 
will be sharpened within the key of D major. So we have Father Charles goes down, and I want you to get rid of the G, because it's the one before the D. So that leaves F and C, right, Father Charles. So I know now, in D major, there's a F sharp and a C sharp. So if I apply that spelling, I'm going to sharpen the F, so that gives me um, an F sharp minor. And I'm going to sharpen the C, which gives me a C sharp uh, half diminished. So if we go through those chords, so we have D major, E minor, and now we have F sharp minor, and then G major, and then A major, and then B minor, and then we have the C sharp half diminished, and then back to the D major. So by just consulting that silly phrase I had, you know, Father Charles goes down at ends battle, I was able to work out really quickly what sharps are in the key of D major. So let's take the next note for another example. So we have C, D, uh, so the next one is E. So let's say we're in the key of E major. So let's do the same thing again. Let's write E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. And uh, let's consult the, the order again. So Father Charles goes down and ends. So I got to E. So remember, take the one away from before it. So Father Charles goes down and ends. Take away the A sharp, and anything before that is going to be sharpened. So Father Charles goes down. F, C, G, and D. So then we apply that spelling to our key of F ma um, E major. Sorry. So now we have E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, B, C sharp minor, and D half diminished. So that would sound like this. So E major, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A major, uh, B major, C sharp minor, and then we want D sharp half diminished, and then we come back to the tonic, the E. It's an E major chord there. So there we have it for this lesson. So you can easily find out what sharps are within any major key. It's worth bearing in mind that the keys of C and F major are special. C major has no sharps and the lovely key of F major has a B flat. It doesn't have any sharps. So there, when you're trying to write something and you're going to end up in a particular key, you can quickly work out what sharps are within that key and you can work out what notes you can play and what chords you can play. And if somebody else has written a song they tell you it's in this particular key, then you can quickly work out what chords or what notes you should be using within that particular key. Um, so I hope you found this useful. Uh, please let me know if it was easy to follow along and understand uh, so I can have some feedback for next time. Uh, as next time I'd like to touch upon the order of flats and how we can work out the order of sharps or flats within a minor key as well. Uh, so as always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Until then, bye bye.